it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator based in the UK. Um, I've got some exciting things to share with you later on in the video, so do hang around for that. Um, so, this video is part of the Spot Challenge group. The challenge this week is Spring Fling, so anything spring is perfect. Uh, so I have gone with the Timeless Tulips, which I haven't used enough. Great for Easter, great for all spring things, flowers. We've got Mother's Day, which I know we've had in the UK already, but in the US and various other parts of the world, it's a, it's a movable feast. Uh, so I know Mother's Day is still to come, certainly in the US. Uh, some of these sentiments are just perfect for today where we're going through some interesting times. So may the memories of yesterday comfort you today. What a beautiful difference a single life makes, which would be a perfect sort of thank you for someone who's gone out of their way to help you at the moment. Then obviously we've got hello, which is what I'll be doing today. Happy birthday, happy Easter, happy spring, happy every, happy, happy everything. Get well soon and happy Mother's Day. Three tulips, three leaves, two stalks. So this is the card that I'm doing. It is 3D, uh, but the plus is you can fold it flat for postage. Um, in fact, if you fold it... Oh no, I was, there was me thinking I had the same number each side. I don't. But you can fold it flat. It may go through uh, UK postage as an ordinary letter. You would have to check that once you'd written and put it in an envelope. But I think it may be a large letter. Um, but it's just so cute. Had to be done. So let me show you how I've done it. I've used three colours. So Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade and Mango Melody. I'm going to start with my Granny Apple Green because I want to build up my background first. So I've got a piece of Whisper White. Just need to check it's the right one. It is. Uh, measurements are always on my website, which is linked immediately below. Just look for the associated blog post. Uh, while I'm doing all this, do remember that you can subscribe to my channel, which makes an enormous difference to me. Um, not only does it mean that I get all excited by the fact that more people are subscribing, it actually does make a difference to the analytics or the um, algorithm. The more people that, that subscribe to a channel and interact with the channel, the more people will be shown the channel so that they can uh, subscribe and interact. So I've got my three lots of leaves. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to be doing an extra one of. So I'm going to start with that one and just pop that in the bottom corner of the stalk. And I'm also going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. Now, we're going to use the punch. When you punch, I tend to use it this way up. So I'm going to be coming in for my leaf that way. So I wouldn't want to have stamped it here because that would be a huge waste. Um, so I'm going to be coming in here, except I'm going to be, I've got to make sure that I get the, um, the stamp in the right in the right, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't remember. Anyway, the right way up. Let's just call it the right way up. So, ink that up, stamp it there, and then when I come to punch, that will be in exactly the right place. Fingers crossed! So that's that stamp, and then the other two I'm just going to use to fill in, oops, it's that I want to take out of the way, uh, to fill in um, just other spaces on the um, on the card. Uh, let's see. Let's go that way, and then we'll bring in this one. And remember that you can stamp them both ways up. So I can have this one coming this way, and then turn it over, and have it coming that way so that they all look that little bit different. So pop those out of the way. Um, I did not stamp a background poppy. This is just made up on top. 
so I don't need the green anymore. Oh, I do really need the green anymore. So, brain dangerous. Just punch that out with the tulip builder punch. I think it's called the tulip builder punch. It will be listed below and on my website, so there won't be any worries about that. Okay, so I will need that again, so I won't close it up just yet. Now, I've got a sponge dauber, which has got granny apple green ink on it. It dries on the dauber a slightly darker colour. Don't know why, but it works. It, it is definitely granny apple green. Um, as you can see, I actually label my daubers so that I have them for each specific colour. And I keep them all in just a little, um, a little box by colour family. So that's all I need the granny apple green for. Now, let's bring in the other two and my scrap of paper. And again, I'm going to be working on the right orientation. That's the word. Um, so I'm going to start on the edge here. Um, I could go either this side or this side. I mean, obviously I can flip it over and go that way. In fact, I might do that because that's already a bit of a scrap. Um, can see I really planned this out in advance didn't you I made the original quite some time ago because we submit the photos um, quite a way in advance so um, don't need that at the moment so it's quite important <laughs> that I do this early and I forgot to do the video for it at the same time okay so note to self do your videos sooner right mango melody and Poppy Parade. So I'm going to ink up my stamp in Mango Melody and then I'm going to bring in Poppy Parade, my sponge dauber for Poppy Parade, and I'm going to pop some of that at the top and then round the sides. I will be doing some more inking so it doesn't matter too much, but I want that, you know, tulips tend to come in multicolours. Now, because I'm adding Poppy Parade as I go, I am going to clean my stamp between, um, between stamps, between uses, just so that I don't get Poppy Parade on my Mango Melody. So again, just add some Poppy Parade to that. Huff and stamp. And I want four of these. They are, are each going to be slightly different um, shading because obviously we're doing it manually, but that's kind of part of the charm, really. So that's those three, and then I just need one more. Gosh, I've got ink everywhere. So ink. More ink, huff, and down. Okay, clean that off. Uh, do remember that if you use colours that have got a red in them, they will stain your stamp, but it is a stain, it is not dirt. And then you can get in with your um, chamois and just clean the block as well. And then that's all I need that for, so I can pop that to one side. And close that up, because we don't need that anymore for this. And close up my Mango Melody, because I won't want that anymore, but I will want my Poppy Parade. I mean, I will need it some more, because I'm... Ooh, which has reminded me. I guess I need to do the inside of my card. Oops. Anywho... Moving swiftly on, um, so this is why I say you need to make sure your card is in the right orientation for when you punch, because otherwise you are going to waste a lot of card. Well, you don't have to because you can cut it out and punch it from a smaller piece, but it, it, just, it just makes it a little easier if you just get the orientation. You see, now I've got that word in my head, I'm going to use it a lot. So that's you know, not too wasteful. You could do a strip as well. Strips are really good for these sorts of things. Um, but as I say, just remember to 
get everything starting at the right end don't start in the middle right so I won't won't need that again so let's close that up and pop it to one side then what I'm going to do with my poppy parade is just come round the outside and just ink up those edges because I don't want the white edge um, generally I don't mind the white edge but because of the way that we're going to be sticking these together um, it's just important to um, to make sure that they haven't got the white edge it just looks it just looks more meant so I hope you're all surviving if you are in isolation um, in the UK at the time when I'm filming this we are allowed out for essentials uh, we can also go out for some exercise once a day um, but we are being asked that we do that you know reasonably close to home so that if we are brewing the dreaded COVID-19 that uh, we keep it in an area that is probably already infected. Um, London is going through a, a pretty rough time with this because obviously it's um, quite a quite a large um, population in a relatively small space. So, um, so yes. So this is the inside. So I did need that leaf again. See, and I needed granny apple green again. Okay, so we need the poppy. Not poppy, it's poppy parade. We need the tulip scrap of paper. Mango melody. So ink that up. And close it. And just add some more ink more of the poppy parade around the tulip and then I'm going to have it so that it's coming off the bottom of my liner and then that no we do need that again so I'll leave that open for the moment and then just the leaf just tucking in there as well oh that didn't stamp well the joy of photopolymer is that you can go back and fill it in because you can see where you're stamping. Right, so that is the last I need of those stamps. Uh, the only other thing that I need to do is bring back in my scrap and with my Hello and Poppy Parade, just... Mm, I want to get my orientation right again. Actually, if I do that, no, that's going to be fine. So stamp my Hello. That's the last of the ink I need and then got a, ah, see and I've got a smudge now uh, where's my trick there's my trick sorry stretching across I need my ink eraser And you can just work on that little area and if you're lucky get rid of it it's better than it was we'll leave it as it it's better than it was okay right so that's my other piece which I will need very soon so I'm just going to cut the scrap bits off because they really are scrap and then get my classic label punch which I love and I'm going to punch this out I just want to come a little bit further out there we go don't want it to fly and then tuck this back in from this end and grab the end make sure it is straight and punch again and then you just get a little label which is all I want okay right let's make up the tulip 
for that, this is where your trimmer is going to be absolutely brilliant. So what you need to do is line up your tulips so that they are as even as you can get them in your trimmer. And then score. Do make sure you've got the right blade. You do not want to cut them in half. So you do want the, um, the light grey blade, not the dark grey blade. And I do find it's quite useful that you can tuck the pointy bit up. Get that even. And the last one. Get on. My fingers aren't working terribly well. There we go. And then just fold those and you want them as near in half as possible. So if you were slightly off your middle, you've got a little bit of a chance to straighten it out a tad. Because the crease line, you can move the crease line a little. Um, you can't move it a lot, but you can you can force it to um, to be a little s more central. And then the last one. There we go. Right, multi-purpose liquid adhesive. And I will be back. Sorry about that. Um, I recognise the phone number, and it's my. It was my father who, um, obviously, at the moment is in almost in quarantine. He's in the UK. There are one and a half million people who have been uh, told to stay inside for the next twelve weeks. Um, I'll talk about it while I'm doing this. So I'm going to add some adhesive to the to one half of my tulip don't go mad with the adhesive you don't need a lot um so yes he lives about an hour hour and 15 minutes away from us um so then just flatten keep that flat you want everything to be as if that's what's sticking um and then you can do the next one um so yes i recognize his phone number so uh it's quite reasonably one of the phone calls that i will stop recording a video for um, because he is very isolated he's um, he is now widowed um, or widowered um, so uh, he is kind of feeling quite lonely um, we try and keep in touch with him as much as we can uh, but it's not the same as being with someone now I'm not worried about that white bit because uh, there's a trick coming. Um, so yes, we're. I, I ran down as of when we're when I'm filming this. I dropped in some um, some groceries a couple of days ago uh, because the people who were looking after him, as far as groceries are concerned, one of his neighbours, um, she and her husband have both come down with uh, coughs and a slight fever. So. Um, whether it is the dreaded COVID-19 or whether it's something else, we don't know. But obviously they are being mindful of the fact that he is not a young young chap. Um, so they are avoiding him. Um, right, so I'm just going to take this and just run it round the edge of all the punched pieces. So that if there is any white showing, um, we can kind of cover that up with some poppy parade. So it doesn't look quite so obvious. So yes, if I am filming and I have to stop part way through, you can, because of a phone call, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to have been my father. Uh, because we need to look after him. Because he's a lovely chap. He's um he's he's not he's one of those people who needs people. 
Um, so this is like his worst nightmare. Uh, he has a small garden, so that's good. Um, but yeah. So. So yes, I hope you, if you haven't already, you have by now subscribed to my channel. There's a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, so if you could click on that and then click the alerts because I am doing live videos now. I'm recording this in advance. Um, so there will have, mm, I can't remember when this goes live because we've just changed our clocks. Um, about now, there will be a live video over on my Facebook business page. Um, so, yeah, um, and I'll also be doing live YouTube videos. I've just got to sort out the final bits of technology, um, so you'll be wanting to see those. Okay, I've got a couple of extra labels from the Classic Label Punch, and I am just going to cut a small piece off each of the colours. So I want a little bit of adhesive there. And a little bit on a poppy frayed piece. Oops, actually that's not... I'm trying to take a, the lid off and I haven't got the lid on. It's pathetic! And again, just pop that there. And then chop another piece off this end, and another piece off this end. Go a bit shorter, and a little bit of adhesive. You want them to be about the same amount showing at each end. This piece and that's that right okay dimensionals it's a new sheet of dimensionals gotta love a new sheet okay so this is going to go there so I want one dimensional one dimensional at the fat end and then a tiny bit of glue at the thin end because I want this to be popped up but only at one end so I want the leaf to be looking as if it's growing out from the stalk so I don't want I want this end to be attached to the stalk and then I've got a couple of mini dimensionals to pop onto my sentiment And then the front of the card is basically done, apart from some final embellishments, which I will do once the card is all together. So, pop this down in the bottom corner. There we go. And my, um, my extra bits of card were Poppy Parade and um, Mango Melody. So this we want to attach to our Poppy Parade mat. Do remember, measurements are over on my website. If you go to the associated blog post that is linked in the description bar below, um, you will find the dimensions right at the bottom of the post. Uh, there will also be up-close photos, or close-up photos, um, and some more information about how I made it. Then this is going on the inside, so let's fold our card base. So this is half a sheet of A4, uh, scored in the middle. So we've got our outside panel. And let's pop that on. I love that it's so bright and zingy. Do remember to have a go at the spot challenge. Anyone can have a go, and we love to see your entries. Uh, the prize is 
being the winner. Uh, it is nothing more than that, but it would be fantastic to see uh, lots of entries. We're a new challenge group, so um, at the moment we're not getting an enormous number of entries, but um, it also means, therefore, if you have a go, you could well be the winner. So that would be good. I was slightly over generous with my glue, so there's a bit of extra there, but I can wipe that off. So that is the basic card. And then the only other thing I want to add are some, um, some of the gold glitter dots, which were part of the Christmas Rose Suite, which is some of it is still available, if not all of it. So I want a tiny weenie. And I want that just there. So I want a little cluster. You have to be slightly careful that you manage to pick up the glue as well as the dot. So do make sure that you are being careful with that. And then let's take one of these. What I tend to do is bend the um, acetate. And then I'll have one. Actually, I'll have a bigger one there, I think. We'll have one just tucked in under there. We'll have a big one tucked in under there and then a slightly smaller one just over here on that leaf. And it's an odd number, odd number, odd number, odd number, odd number. So it sort of balances. Um, except it's now even. One, two, three, four. I need another one. Eek! OK, I can do this. But no, then that will be... No, I'm going to stop. I had this number before. I'm going to stop. OK, so sorry about that. Right, so um, the reason I said come right to the end is, so certainly for those of you in the UK, I'm looking to do little crafty boxes. Um, so there'll be a selection of products that you can um, you can get from me and I can pop them in the post. They'll come in a letterbox friendly uh, box. So all nice and safe and it'll be done. It'll be um, designer series paper, card bases, those sorts of things. I will try be doing them on a sort of theme. So keep your eyes peeled for that. If you go over to my website, you'll find that there is an area with tutorials and creativity in a box and it will be there. But also, oh, how could I not remember this? I'm now part of the design team for the uh, Stamping Glam, Swats, Glam Squad. So anyone who purchases from me, um, so long as you place an order of at least £45, you will get a bundle of tutorials that are exclusive to customers um, that purchase. The only other way of getting hold of them is to actually buy the tutorial bundle, uh, which is, from memory, £15 to buy the bundle. But as I say, it's free if you spend £45 in my online store. There are eight of us in the design team, and we each design two projects. So you get 16 projects with photographs and step-by-step uh, -step instructions, all the dimensions, and they work for both North American cardstock and international A4. So it's a fantastic package for March. Anyone who places an order before the end of today, um, you will get the March bundle, which is all animal themed, but that's animal in the loosest sense. Um, and then April, I can't remember what the April theme is. That's dreadful. I want to say it's birthdays, but I can't remember. Anyway, loads of tutorials and the theme is kind of not the relevant piece so if it is birthdays birthday cards can also be thank you cards so do remember that it's an amazing amazing bundle and i'm thrilled to be part of that group um there's also another bundle that will be coming very soon with the ornate garden suite which is going to be talk about mega it's going to be huge we're waiting to finalize the details on that let's just say there are lots and lots and lots and lots of tutorials, you will have so much inspiration. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and all the information and links are below. 
Thank you very much. Bye.